Good morning, Reverend Father Salvador de Souza, Reverend Father Benjamin Jojo, respected Sister Majella, teachers, and my dear students. He was highly respected throughout his life as a man of high moral integrity. He was the man behind the IITs and various institutes in India. The key architect of education in India had noted, I have no doubt that the establishment of this institute will form a landmark with the progress of higher technological education and research in the country. True to his words, today, IITs have created a niche for themselves. Yes, he was none other than the first vice president and the first education minister of independent India, Maulana Sayyid Abul Kalam, Gulam Muhyuddin Ahmad bin Khairuddin Al Husseini Azad. He is fondly remembered as Maulana Abul Kalam Azad or Maulana Azad. The Great Son of India The word Maulana is an honorific meaning a master and he adopted Azad free as his pen name. Maulana Azad represented a glorious synthesis of cultures, civilizations, thoughts and philosophies which have powerfully influenced India's history. He was a bridge between the old and the new. Indeed, he was a strikingly outstanding son of the soil. The Ministry of Human Resource Development had on September 11, 2008 decided to commemorate the birthday of the great son of India, Maulana Azad by recalling his huge range of contributions to the cause of education in India. Thus, November 11th every year is celebrated as the National Education Day or Rashtriya Shiksha Devas. Maulana Azad's Personal Life Maulana Azad was born on November 11th, 1888. His place of birth was Mecca, which is now in Saudi Arabia. Maulana Azad's father was Muhammad Khairuddin, who was a Bengali Muslim of Afghan origin. Maulana's mother was Alia, who was a daughter of a rich Arabian sheikh. The family settled in Calcutta in 1890. Maulana's spouse was Zulaikha Begum, whom he married at the young age of 13. Maulana Azad's Early Journalism Career Maulana published a poetic journal, Nairang e Alam, at the age of 11 in the year 1899. He was the editor of Weekly Al Misbah in the year 1900. He contributed articles to Urdu magazines and journals such as Makzan, Esamul Akbar, and Khadange Nazir. Listeners Sidk, his monthly journal published between December 1903 and May 1905. He worked as editor of Vakil, which is a newspaper from Amritsar. For a brief period, he was associated with Dar ul Santin, Athila, an Urdu weekly newspaper in the year 1912, was banned in the year 1914 for openly attacking British policies. He was well adapted with the following languages, Arabic, Urdu, Hindustani, Bengali, Persian, and English. He was well versed in the following subjects, Philosophy, Shariat, Mathematics, Science, Politics, and History of the World. Molana was also trained in the Mazahibs of Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, and Hanabi Sikh by tutors hired by his family. He completed the traditional course of study at the age of 16, nine years ahead of his contemporaries. He was a man of versatile personality, educationalist, Islamic theologian, journalist, reformer, writer, independent activist, philosopher, preacher, visionary, and poet. The Pre-Independence Phase the first turning point of Azad came after the partition of Pinga, thus associating himself with the anti-British movement. His visits to France and some other Islamic countries 
such as Iraq, Syria, Egypt, and Turkey had a profound and a decisive influence on the Azadi political thinking. He became the leader of the Khilafat movement, thus bringing him close to Mahatma Gandhi. Azad committed himself to Gandhi's ideas. He became the youngest person to serve as a president in the Indian National Congress. He was opposed to the idea of the partition of India till the very end. Independence contribution to Indian education system. He became the first education minister of Free India in 1947. He played a pivotal role in the establishment of UGC and IITs. He stood for knowledge of English language, universal primary education, free and compulsory education up to 14 years of age and girls education. Main objectives of Azad's educational policies and actions Making of man, character building education, education for democracy, education for development, education for national integration and secularism, internationalism and global citizenship. Number of measures were undertaken to promote primary and secondary education, scientific education and vocational training, establishment of universities. Promotion of avenues of research and higher study. Books authored by Azad. He emphasized four major programs. One, removal of illiteracy through universalization of elementary education up to secondary standard and a drive for adult education, including education for women. Two, equalizing educational opportunities in Indian society where exploitations on the basis of Class and caste divisions were rampant. Three, three language formula where the state languages and Hindi would be medium of instruction, but English will remain as an important second language. Four, sound primary education throughout the country. Educational institutions and projects. The University Grants Commission (UGC) on 28 December 1953 established IISC and School of Architecture and Planning. The first IIT, IIT Kharagpur, was set up in 1951. Sangeet Natak Academy (1953), Sahitya Academy (1954), Lalit Kala Academy (1954) set up the Central Institute of Education in Delhi that later came to be known as the Department of Education under Delhi University. In 1934, assisted in shifting the campus of Jamia Millia. Islamia to New Delhi, which is a renowned university today. National laboratories, archives, libraries, and departments of archaeology, etc. assisted Pandit Nehru in setting up the Indian Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Chain of Science Laboratories in India On 22nd February 1958, Maulana Azad, one of the foremost leaders of the Indian struggle, passed away due to a stroke. For his invaluable contribution to the nation, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad was posthumously awarded India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna in 1992. Maulana Azad succeeded in registering notable achievements in almost every domain of education, which set the tone and direction of educational development in the country in the days to come. International Education Day January 24th is marked as Education Day globally to celebrate the role of education for bringing global peace and sustainable development. The theme for the year 2021 is Recover and Revitalize Education for the COVID-19 Generation. Respecting the manager Reverend Father Basin Lobo, the Principal, Reverend Father Salvador de Sosa, the Vice Principal, Reverend Father Benjamin Juju, all my teachers and my dear students. A very good morning to everyone. National Education Day of India is celebrated on 11th November every year. It is an annual observance in India 
to commemorate the birth anniversary of Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad. He was the first education minister of independent India who served from 15th August 1947 until February 1958. It is also known as Rastriya Siksa Divas. On 11th September 2008, the Ministry of Human Resource Development announced to commemorate the birthday of the great person by recalling the contribution of Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad in the field of education by celebrating 11th November as National Education Day. According to Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, schools are the laboratories that produce future citizens of the country. So dear teachers and students, as we are celebrating National Education Day, I would like to share my thoughts about the importance of education. Education is very important to all of us. Our home is our first school and our parents are our first teachers where we learn how to behave to others. Education is very necessary in our life. Through school education, we learn, develop our personality, moral and and physical powers without education our society can develop or grow so dear students education is the only key to success in personal and professional life it provides various types of knowledge and skills students learning begins when we take birth and ends when our life ends Education is also a slow and secure process of learning which helps us in attaining knowledge. It is important to be well educated of one's aim to hold such respected position. So students, I would like to mention the words of the great politician. To give a voice to expression Education For independence of women For enlightenment once again For welfare of the population Education Equality for a century, a generation, education. 